It's where I took my first date, skulking down the indie alley with comic book man and Bocephus. Hey kids, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome to the 14th installment that we've done so far today. 14? For the video out of, for me, it's the 14th oh. one. And so, I am, I am, so do I am dog ass tired. Oh, <laughs> me, I've been hanging out with Angelina Jolie over there in the corner. But what, yeah, he's, he's been in the back, he's with his feet up, drinking a rum <laughs> coke. Uh, but this is, welcome to the video out house. It's indie news time in the indie alley and I got... Hi, it's Bo. This Hi, is his Bo. fifth, my 14th. So you know. I have more energy than he does. Uh, Hi, so Bo. first up, because you know, I'm, I'm, I just want to get out of here. I have a uh, Liberty man. Comics. Liberty Comics. The next Liberty Comics is coming in October with a kick-ass cover, as as I remember it from from the solicitation. John Romita Jr. is doing the cover for this year's edition of Liberty Comics. Liberty Comics. If you buy the book, the proceeds go to the uh, comic book legal comic book legal defense fund. Some people working on the book are involving Neil Gaiman and Jim Lee doing a pro story together. Jimmy Palmiotti doing a pain painkiller Jane, Brian Wood, Dave Gibbons, Paul Pope, Maura Tad, who does some great stuff on uh, on Elephant Men, Jason Aaron, Paul Grist, and Ben Templesmith. It's something that's good if you buy it. It the money actually goes to help comic book creators who you know get arrested for selling comics. And some people go, you're not supposed to be selling those. So that, it actually goes for a good cause. South of the Mason Dixon. Yes, specifically South of the Mason Dixon. Yeah, South of the Mason Dixon. Uh. Dynamite Comics, Black Terror. Dynamite Comics is going to be doing yet another Black Terror book. Phil Hester and Jonathan Lau are going to be doing a new ongoing monthly Black Terror book. In case you haven't known anything about the Black Terror, he's a man who was brought from his time to our time. And he has a problem with the way the government works. And so these stories will involve him going, I need to do something really drastic about fixing this stuff. Like maybe blowing things up. How about voting? Or about voting. voting. How about voting? And he's the Black Terror. So I think he's a sickle. Yeah, he's a sickle. Mark Millar. Unfunny. Mark Millar, who wrote this for Avatar, has a bunch of creator-owned stuff that he's going to be pumping your way real soon. Next 12 months, he's got projects coming from Lionel Francis Wu, Steve McNiven, and Dave Gibbons. Uh, but wow, that's, a, that's a exciting enough to wake me up. Steve McNiven is going to be doing, he and Steve McNiven are going to be doing another Marvel project past Old Man Logan. They're also going to be working on Kick-Ass 2. The Dave Gibbons thing is supposedly the six-issue superhero thing. They haven't announced what company it's from. It could be coming from Avatar, because this is part of the first uh, stuff that Millar was doing. It could also be coming from Marvel. We don't really know. Yeah. But it's coming between now and next December. Alpha and Omega, pal. Alpha and Omega. This is Alpha. Here's your Omega. The yeah. other end of the spectrum. Spawn oh, 200 oh, is rocketing your way out of the sewer and into your hearts. Spawn 200 is on the way. It'll basically be drawn by Todd McFarlane. <laughs> He's Great. going to draw the bulk of the issue, He's, and then the flashback sequence is going to be done by celebrity artists. The only artist that they've revealed is going to be working on a segment is Rob Liefeld, uh, but Todd will be doing the framing pieces. 200 will start off an arc to debut some brand new villains of the Spawn universe. It will also mark the return of the classic Spawn villain, the Clown, who's not going to be as goofy as he used to be and going to be a lot more dangerous, according to Todd. Liefeld and Todd teamed up together for Spawn 200. Guys, too little, too late. Oh, it'll be late. That's all I got to say about that. Top Cow. Top Cow. Uh, they made a, a deal with a company called Heroes and Villains Entertainment. To do what? Heroes new, and Villains? New comics. <laughs> new comics. Top Cow stuff, doing new comics. Amazing. Stuff, stuff they can sell uh, to other mediums, such as television or movies or video games and stuff. What, they can't do that with their own characters? Uh, well, no. This is something that Heroes and Villains is bringing to Top Cow. All Top Cow is doing is giving the company somewhere to publish the books. Oh, the first, Red Circle. Yeah, Red Circle. Red Circle in DC. So the first book is going to be called Tracker, and it involves uh, a new take on werewolves. They've already announced the second project, but they won't reveal what it is just yet, because apparently it is so secretive, they don't want someone out there to steal it. Very secretive. Why are you doing that? The ah, I was having my Clint Floyd uh, thing. Oh, okay. So anyway, that's it. That's, that's all the Indian news. You got anything else? Uh, nah, I got you got nothing else. We're done. We're done. We're out of here. I'm going to get a coffee and, and put my feet up because I am really tired. Need some scotch. Till next time, this is Comic Book Man. And Bo. Saying stop off at the store's website, www.myalternatereality.com. Read Indie News. And until next time, I'll see ya.